Welcome, welcome, welcome beyond the veil. My name is Adina and I will be your pilot for today's flight. <laughs> so I'm curious, you know, I, I didn't intend to do this reading, um, but Solange Knowles popped into my mind and I was curious about her relationship with her mother or how she feels about her mother. And so I just decided, well, since I was curious about it for no apparent reason, I'll do a reading. And since Solange is a fellow Brujeria, I will light some incense and I will ring the bell for her. I don't know which incenses these are. They were leftovers more than likely from something else I used them for. So I have no idea which which instances I'm lighting, but we'll, we'll light them for Solange because something tells me she likes a good incense. I'm sorry you guys, I'm just trying to get the last instant stick to stay. All right, we're in there. All right, Florida water my hands because I know she likes a good Florida water. She showed it in one of the clips in one of her previous projects, I think the last album that she put out. her sitting around a candle or a tea lamp I mean an oil lamp something bright something some type of light meditating chanting sitting Indian style on the floor Solange talk to me sister about your mother Solange knows, I would like to know how you feel. What is your relationship like with your mother, Tina Mose? Solange knows. Now, as I was gathering my cards with my eyes open, I mean closed, two cards were left out. No, three cards were left out, and I'm not going to look at what they were. Because I feel like I'm not supposed to. Solange, talk to me about your relationship with your mother. Tina knows, Solange knows. Tell me what your relationship is like with your mother, Tina knows. Most High Mother, Father God, I ask that you allow me to see and speak to the soul, the spirit of Solange. 
French nose. I will do her no harm. I will cause her no malice. This is a safe place. And may nothing be hidden from my eyes. Solange knows what is your relationship like? How do you feel? How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? Tina knows. Solange knows. Solange knows, how do you feel about your relationship with Tina? Um, I think as it stands, Solange, Leslie, Fairy, that red, red velvet cake sounds good. It does, doesn't it? Red velvet is my favorite of all the cakes in the world, especially the homemade kind where I can taste the butter. Mm -hmm. Red velvet and chocolate. Most people who don't like chocolate don't like red velvet. I like both. Those are my favorites. Solange doesn't put any more effort into the relationship with her mother than, than she feels like it, than she does now. And she probably never will. Because if she does, challenging her, if she tries to have a good relationship with her mother, it causes her, her relationship with her mother causes her too much mental anguish. So as it stands, Solange does not engage in a active relationship with her mother, Tina Knowles, allegedly. We've all heard about Solange's mental health and mental health issues and challenges and I think her mother is the cause of one or some of those challenges in the past I think that Solange has had to grow up without the nurturing of her mother Solange is a cancer and Tina is a Capricorn so this is Solange in reverse in her recent past but as a grown woman I think that Solange has stopped caring about having a nurturing and healthy relationship with her mother. Up to the most recent past, but I don't get that this is something that just recently happened that made her feel this way. I think that for a long time, up until her becoming a woman, up until now, she has had to raise herself when it comes to nurturing from a mother. In the near future, I think Solange is going to put out some sort of project that she's been working on and it's not an album or it's not any song or any music she's recording. I know she has a, a line of glassware so she's not opposed to dibbling and dabbling in projects that have nothing to do with music or the um, musical arts or performance arts. I think she may put out something else tangible, maybe. I don't know if she may sell something significant. We'll see. Above her, I don't know what sign her son is, but I think crowning her right now is her son. I don't know how her son's relationship is with his grandmother, but I think that she may possibly deal with Tina just enough for her son to have a healthy relationship. Maybe, maybe her son has a, a decent relationship with his grandmother. And so that's as far as it goes for Solange, possibly. And I think that Solange likes it this way. I think that Solange prefers it this way. I think that this way, the way that things are with her and Tina not having a close relationship and them only engaging for the sake of her son, I think that that works out best for Solange. I don't know how that works out for Tina, but Solange likes it this way. 
another amazing reading. Monbrat306, hi, thank you for your engagement on my channel and thank you for watching. In Solange's current actions, current advice, I would say that they need to see each other and need to, Solange could have possibly been ignoring um, opportunities to um, see her mother. I think that maybe Tina has been reaching out, trying to see Solange, trying to speak to Solange, and Solange has kind of been just like, yeah, whatever, I ain't, I ain't with that right now. I don't want to deal with her right now. But there could be something possibly coming up where Solange has to see Tina or has to engage with her. And Spirit's advice, Solange, is to do so and make the best of it. Whatever is causing their relationship to be the way it is, Solange feels like Tina is absolutely wrong, will be wrong, and has always been wrong. And I'll see why. I'll see what's behind that later. Um, in Solange's hopes and fears, there's something that she fears losing out on. I, I don't know if it's Tina's will because I don't I don't think that Tina's bag is bigger than Beyonce's but maybe there's something to lose if if Solange doesn't reunite with him her mother maybe there's a stipulation in Beyonce's finances or will or something like that where if Solange is on bad terms with her mother when she passes away, she, Solange won't get something. Maybe Solange is um, fearing that whatever project she's going to release, she loses an investment on. I'm not sure. Outcome for Solange, she is going to continue having a strained relationship with her mother. As far as spirits, I can see her relationship with her mother she will continue to feel abandoned, unnurtured, left alone, unfavored by her mother for the what what's inside of this cathedral, the the bigger sibling. I think just judging by that car, I get a lot from it. Their relationship is permanently damaged from years and years and years of neglect and strain since, since Solange was younger. I see that between the two sisters, especially with the father when they were children, Solange could have possibly been seen as the independent, neglectful, rebellious one. But she felt she had to do a lot of things to stand out because there was no attention, there was no effort, there was nothing being poured into her. And so she did do a lot of things to get attention. A lot of self-sabotaging self things. But because she was a child when she started this behavior, this attention-seeking behavior with her family, there, there's really no blame here in, in my energy that I can pick up for the behaviors that she did or the things that she did in order to try to get attention or try to feel good about herself in some way. I think Solange feels like she raised herself. She's very independent and she had to be. Um, it, whatever relationship it is with her mother, it's with her, her. Now, I don't know if she has a better relationship with her father. I think she has a better relationship with her father. I think that even though her father did put a lot of effort into Beyonce in the group. I think that he did have a lot of nurturing moments, a lot of fond moments and memories with Solange. Even though more effort and more attention was being put into Beyonce's career. For some reason, when it comes to Solange's father, she, un she gets it. She understands that his perspective was coming from a business perspective and them making it but her mother really had no excuse for the neglect because her father was the driving force behind Beyonce's career she really saw 
the attention from her mother and that's who the neglect really hurt her from. The relationship has always, I see, been, been strained because I feel like in Solange's energy, Tina has no excuse, allegedly, for the favor that she showed Beyonce because it wasn't just based on Beyonce's career. It was just based on favoritism. Something in my energy feels like Tina, uh, Tina saw a lot of what she wanted to herself to be in Beyonce, her unfulfilled dreams, her unfulfilled potential in Beyonce. I think that Tina preferred Beyonce's looks, her talent, her, her body, her, her mannerisms, everything about Beyonce. I think Tina has always been in awe of, and it was palpable. It was, it was, it, it was, it was tangible awe. It was something that everyone could see. And I think that maybe that's why Matthew probably did everything he could to pour into or nurture Solange the best that he could. Because something in my spirit feels like he didn't think it was right for, for a mother to be that way. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Solange's present energy and Tina for their present energy with each other. It's because of the unbalanced relationship that they that Tina has always shown in her children the favoritism towards Beyonce it's always been there allegedly I think that maybe Tina has always spoken and acted very harshly with Solange I think Tina has come across as the king of swords and Solange's energy it, it's kind of like her favoritism to Beyonce made her mentally and verbally abuse Solange. And I think that Solange couldn't wait to sneak out, get out, do her own thing because what she feels like she endured at home with the favoritism between her and Beyonce was abuse. She felt utterly abandoned. And so she was always left alone to do her own thing. It's no wonder she got pregnant when she was 17. I don't know if she would get up and go and sleep in Beyonce's room sometimes. Because her and Beyonce were each other's emotional support. Even though all the attention was being poured into Beyonce, I feel like she felt like it was a lot of pressure. And so for her, even from her mother's, awe of her was a lot of pressure so Beyonce kind of envied the independence that Solange had a little bit the neglect that Solange had because Solange could fly under the radar do her own thing live her her own life as normal as they could considering their circumstances Solange envied the attention that Beyonce got from her mother because even in the business Matthew clued Solange in and made sure she was plugged in but if it was Tina Solange wouldn't have anything it reminds me of Cinderella and her her evil stepmother all right crossing her why she feels like a relationship with Tina will cause her stress I hear mental anguish I think because she's tried it in the past and she already knows what to expect from a relationship with Tina, there's only so much she's going to get from Tina maternally. And I think Solange has moved on from that hurt and that pain. And she's kind of okay with being the outcast because it suits her mental health. Trying to be in the fold, um, even for the sake of the perks and benefits, causes her mental anguish. I don't know if there has ever been a battle of juju between Solange and her mother, but I wouldn't be surprised, allegedly. I wouldn't be surprised if Solange has had to use her spiritual prowess in order to heal herself and protect herself from 
any any hurt harm or danger caused by her mother intentionally or unintentionally in the recent in the past queen of cups the the years and years and years of burden of solange trying to have a relationship with her mother she's become emotionally numb to it There was a once upon a time that she wishes wishes she could have had a relationship with her mother. And I get, because of, this is what I'm looking into, in some way it'll always pain, pain her. I empathize with that because I still struggle with my broken relationship with my father. Because it's a parent, it's a wound that you never completely are healed from. And it's something that you always will desire. But as far as today, Solange has had to detach. I don't know if she's had to go to some type of mental health place or go on some kind of retreat retreats in, in order to prepare for being around her family or after being around her family in their future. I think Solange, Solange is gonna release something, um, a project that she's been working on I don't know if, I think that she could fear it doing well. She hopes it does well because she invested her money into it. I think a large chunk of money into it. I think whatever she's about to release could make or break her financially, so she needs it to do well. And I think she didn't tell anybody exactly about what her plans were because she didn't want anyone to talk her out of it. Because I think what she's doing is risky i think because of the financial risk that she took um and i don't know if she's going to have to ask for money ask for an, an investor an investment from someone possibly um current actions or advice four of cups in reverse um, I think that she is going to have to make the best of a situation because she's going to have to be around Jay-Z as well. So this feels like a family engagement or an event where everyone, her mother, Beyonce, and Jay-Z will be at. So that's why she hasn't been wanting to accept this invitation or this offer. It's because Jay-Z, he'll be there. And I think one of her issues with her mother is that her mother puts up with Jay-Z for the benefits, for the perks, for cozying up to them. And Solange doesn't mind erecting boundaries. But whatever the case is, Solange, you're going to have to make the best of it because you're going to have to be around them. What is behind this judgment in reverse? Because that is... See, something major, major happened, and it, it represents a turning point in their in her relationship with Tina. And it makes me feel like in some instance, Tina had to choose sides, and she chose Jay-Z and Beyonce. And it makes me feel like the elevator situation was the official turning point in Solange's relationship with Tina. It was the point of no return. Because of whatever happened between Solange and Jay-Z, Solange feels justified in how she reacted i got i get or acted and she feels like her mother of all people should have had her back in that but she chose the carter side i don't know if this was a project a project that jay-z um and solange were working on on were supposed to work on it's like it was already in the works and then I get Jay-Z pull the plug on it from under, under Solange, pull the plug and pull the rug from under Solange. And the project was like completed. And then because of that elevator situation and because everybody chose Jay-Z's side and then refused to continue working or releasing the project with Solange without Jay-Z being involved. And I think that her mom chose the Carter side over her. I even, even in my mind, I hear that her mom went off on Solange, cussed her out like she wasn't even her daughter. Like it was almost like her opportunity 
to unleash the years of, I don't want to say hatred, but almost hatred that she had against Solange, but she could never release because she was her daughter and it would be wrong of her to, to go off on her that way when she's her daughter. But because of this, I think she unleashed it. And because of the things that were said, Solange was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done trying. I'm done. Final outcome, the Five of Pentacles. Solange is forever done. As far as the eyes can see, she's done trying to defend her position with Tina or with everyone else involved in the clan, Tina and the Carter clan. She'll always give her the honor and respect that is due from a child to her mother though. She'll never disrespect her judgment, but she's done and she's at peace with their relationship forever, her forever feeling abandoned by her mother, neglected permanently. The relationship for as long as Tina ch is choosing Beyonce over her because of Beyonce's success, fame, wealth, and perks, their relationship will always be strained because it always has been because of that reason. And that, my people, is my reading on how Solange feels about Tina currently recent past for, for a while in the past and as far as spirits I can see and it seemed like everybody is okay with it Tina is okay with it Solange is okay with it it's, it's I'm, I'm probably gonna read Tina and her relationship with her daughters later so that I can see how she's okay and at peace or if she's okay and at peace and I feel like she is with the relationship with her and Solange and I, and I feel like she is because it's always been that way. Solange has always been the one that Matthew wanted, I feel. I think Matthew always wanted another baby, but Tina was okay with Beyonce. Beyonce was her dream fulfilled, herself reincarnated and her opportunity to do everything that Tina didn't get a chance to do and be everything that Tina didn't, didn't get a chance to be. And maybe I'm wrong about how she felt about having Solange, but somewhere along the line, Solange was so independent that it came off as rebellious. And I, I get it because my mom said the same thing about me. But I also feel or felt the lack of nurturing from my mother. And I feel like I had no choice but to be independent. So I get that. So I'll probably look into the dynamics of all of their core family dynamics some other time. But um, thank you for joining me on this reading. And thank you, Solange, for speaking your soul and your peace and your truth. And for stating that you'll always be respectful and honor your mother. Um, because I get it. Thank you, my dear sister. Um, good night.